There are always people that want to be great at something, be it playing the piano, cooking, writing, learning languages. This video will present you with steps to becoming great at anything. This is a guide on achieving things realistically, so don't expect any secret shortcuts here. Goals and Habits To become great at anything, you must know what you want precisely. What is it that you want to perform? What skill does it require? Usually, skill development is a long journey. However, once you find a level that you want to eventually get to, be it in 5 or 10 years, focus on the individual milestones that lead to that goal. Setting smaller goals relieves the feeling of overwhelmingness and lets you course correct along the way. Course correction is automatically possible when we set up a feedback system. We will talk about feedback systems later in this video. At each small goal, we call them dots, we set up a small plan to alter what we do to achieve what we want. Small wins at each dot are designed for you to correct your skill development goals or set up as you see fit for yourself as you go along. This is quite opposite of school, where everybody has to fit into the same learning plan. This way of doing things will help you enjoy the journey as you learn a skill. To become more adept in a particular skill, you must know the power of habits. They will help you get the right actions done semi-automatically day to day. For desirable behaviors to prevail, Change your environment to lead you to the least amount of resistance against them. You want to become a better writer? Set up a desk with a notebook or computer with Word open. It will be much easier to start writing. Have your gym clothes already packed to make going to the gym seem less complicated. Find out the basics. Goals and habits will help you set up efficiency in improving your wanted skill over time. But the real thing that will get you started in learning your craft is knowing the fundamentals. I want you guys to know the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule. I know it might sound like astrology, especially if you've heard this before, but hear me out. This rule comes from business and economics, where it was observed that 80% of a company's productivity on average came from 20% of the employees. Later, other observations were made. For example, 20% of companies generate 80% of economic output. 20% of customers give 80% of the profits for a company. Let's look at a non-business application of this rule. 20% of the possible musical chord progressions are played by 80% of the songs. Studying chess tactical patterns is the 20% of overall chess theory that creates the 80% of the game results in below Grandmaster games. Figure out the 20% that can create the 80% of the output in your desired skill. In language learning, 20% of a language's vocabulary is used 80% of the time. Thus, if your goal is to learn a language, find the most numerous words, the 20% of the terms. Of course, this ratio is general and may not be the actual percentage. It could be 90-10, 99-1, 70-30, but the idea holds. Most of the time, you can find out what the 20% is by going through introductory courses, reading about the topic, or hiring a coach or mentor that will point out the 80-20. Thus, the basics of your skill that you must find out are the 20% that generates the 80% of the results. Create a feedback system. Naturally, to progress in a skill, you must know whether or not you're doing something right and then correct yourself. Mistakes that people often make are that they either don't receive feedback or receive helpful input but refuse to accept it. This is as good as not receiving feedback. They fear criticism. They don't want to shatter their precious ego. Traditionally, teachers and coaches were the only way to get feedback. They are still instrumental in this day and age. Of course, this would usually require a significant investment that some people cannot afford, especially if the skill that they are learning is done out of pleasure or for a hobby. You can use your friends or other people with the same interest online to gain feedback. For example, I see plenty of beginners asking r slash cello on Reddit whether their cello playing form is correct or not. In language learning, or any type of learning, one can use a flashcard app that makes you judge whether you know the foreign word or not, or the piece of information that you're testing. Testing yourself is the same as getting feedback. Do remember not to fear criticism. Have a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset means getting the pleasure of feeling and knowing that you're developing and learning. Learning a skill while paying attention to external praises or harsh words might make you get into a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset means that you avoid failing so that your image of an unbeatable player doesn't get ruined. There are plenty of ways of finding feedback. 
That is the most important thing to constantly get during iteration or practice. Iterate, iterate, iterate. The harsh truth to any successful skill development is that you will need to fail at least 1000 times. There's no overnight success. One might think someone was lucky, like an artist who blew up on social media and is now famous, but people don't see their hard work behind the curtains. Reaching a good level in any skill means you'll be married to that skill for 5,000 to 10,000 hours or more. Be ready to fail and accept failure. Let go of your pride. You must be very humble if your goal is worth reaching. Try to be like a toddler. Be curious more than proud. Learn to ignore the bad feelings of actual failure. Remember to rejoice that the overall learning system is working and that you will be sharpened to be very skilled one day. When you fall, just get up and keep walking. Note the fall and make tiny corrections. Slipping up is part of the natural process. Just redraw your new dot and set for sale again. A lot of failed attempts are the key to success. So if you want to succeed, then double your failure rate. Failure needs to be celebrated. It needs to be sought actively. Failure is what needs to be for dinner.